Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be filming my top six current favorite makeup products. It does change week to week, month to month, it changes, but at the minute this is like my current favorites. Haven't filmed a video like this in a long while. Like this is the kind of video that I would film when I first started my channel when I was about 14 or 15. So that was a long time ago because I'm now 22. Also, I didn't do much makeup today. I literally did it in like 10 seconds. Well, probably realistically 30 seconds. Um, I just did concealer um, a little bit. So I don't have any foundation on, a bit of blusher, bit of mascara, and then this lipstick. So apologies if anything looks weird today. I just couldn't be bothered with makeup. So there we go. But the first makeup favorite of mine is my foundation which i'm not wearing right now because i couldn't be bothered to put it on slash couldn't be bothered to waste it because it is getting really low but this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation this is in the shade beige and it's the matte one they do have a glowy version of this which is not going to be my cup of tea because i have oily skin so i don't want to have like really dewy skin throughout the day. I don't want my skin to be really matte, but it, it becomes dewy by itself anyway from having oily skin. I always reach back to this foundation. I've repurchased this many, many times. I switch between this one and the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. Those two, I just switch between. Sometimes I will introduce a new foundation into my routine and I never like it like I never get along with it because there's just something about this one that I really like and also the Maybelline one the Maybelline one's a little bit more full coverage and I guess you could say a tad more cakey on the skin but only slightly but it is more full coverage whereas this one blends really really nicely it's a medium coverage and I just find that it doesn't cake up on my skin that it just looks quite natural and throughout the day it stays on nice and I just really like how this blends and how it looks and everything and it's really cheap like this is like five pounds or something so I would recommend trying this if you haven't tried it before and you've got like a similar skin type to me but yeah this will always be a favorite i can just tell because i this is probably my seventh eighth bottle of this it has this kind of applicator where it's like a little spatula which i guess i kind of like because it disperses the product like you can get as much product around your face as you want i guess but then again, with other foundations, you can do that as well. The ones that I don't like are the bottles. I think MAC used to do this, where you would have to tip a bit of foundation out like that, like literally tip it out of the bottle. Like that is a terrible idea. That is terrible. My second favorite product is this concealer, which I've mentioned loads before, just like I've mentioned the foundation loads before. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you will have seen me talk about these two products a lot, but I do love them. That's why I'm mentioning them. This is the Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal. It says it's got caffeine in it and it's in the shade number four. It has a big doe foot applicator like this, which I really like. Having a big doe foot applicator means that when you're applying the product, just more product goes onto your face quicker and I like doing my makeup quick and I just find it makes it easier to blend out the product as well. This is a concealer that I've bought many, many times. Last time I went into Boots though, there wasn't like the whole makeup obsession section was pretty much empty. So are they closing down? Are they bankrupt? I don't know. Someone tell me or maybe I can go and check myself. This is like a really light shade because I use this personally to kind of brighten my skin. I will use my foundation, which is a little bit darker, and then I will lighten it up with my concealer. And it blends really nicely, it has a nice coverage. It's not too cakey, so it does look a lot more kind of natural and seamless, and that's what I like about this. And I think the blendability of this product is what is kind of the selling point for me. It's what I like the most about this, and I will always reach for this concealer if there's one that I love the most and that I've used the most it's this one the next product is something that I have also spoken a lot about but not as much as the other two and this is from Vive so this is a blusher from Vive and it's part of her sunset blush collection and this particular shade is called Pesca and it's basically like a kind of peachy toned blush 
Can you see that? I have actually got it on my cheeks today just to kind of add a little bit of colour. And yeah, that's what I love about this product is that if I don't do a lot of makeup, I will still pop this blusher on because it's kind of similar. It's kind of got sort of like a bronzy kind of look to it like it just makes your skin look nice and natural it's very pigmented but not too pigmented that you can't blend it out like you can build it up so it is it's just great it blends nicely and i like the color of this it's the perfect shade it just blends really great with your bronzer and it just looks natural i just think it's a great product and yeah i would recommend products from vive it's jamie genevieve's makeup brand if you don't follow her on youtube or watch her videos she does great videos and she demos using these products all the time but yeah i love it and i would recommend it the next product is an eyeshadow palette now it's hard for me to pick an eyeshadow palette but this is the one that i'm currently using at the minute and currently loving so this is the little mix eyeshadow palette i used it in a recent eye tutorial that i filmed a couple of weeks ago no it wasn't an eye tutorial it was just a makeup tutorial thing um and i was using this and i just love how versatile this palette is so this is like an everyday palette for me so many different neutral shades in it it's got mattes it's got shimmers and the shimmers are really great quality they are very pigmented and they build up really well on your eyes they're quite buttery the matte shades are very pigmented as well they blend really nicely this is a really good quality eyeshadow palette and i would recommend this i don't know if they're still selling it like if it's still available to be purchased but but I don't know, I'm just gonna talk about it anyway because I really like it. And I do reach for it every day. Sometimes I would just use um, like these two shades by themselves just over the lid or sometimes I will mix a few together and create like an ombre look on the eye. And this is mainly the palette that I use when I'm doing my makeup before work because I just find it just easy to reach for. But yeah, I think for me, what impressed me the most with this palette is definitely like the blendability and the pigmentation of the eyeshadows. It has a really nice golden colour here, um, which I really like. But yeah, I I love all of the shades, mattes and shimmers. And yeah, they're greatly pigmented. I'll try and show you like a couple of the shades like that. Like just look how nice they are. And now I've got little stripes on my hand. Brilliant. The fifth favourite product at the minute is this mascara from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I don't know if it's got a shade name, but I think we've all seen this mascara. This is what the applicator looks like. It's actually quite interesting. It's kind of curved. It is very well designed, this applicator, I do have to say. When it comes to mascaras, like whether they're good or not, you don't know whether it's because of the formula of the actual mascara or because of the applicator because both of them play a big part in whether a mascara is good or not. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. Have I been talking too much already? But yeah, I think the applicator of this product is amazing. It makes my eyelashes so much longer than any other mascara I've ever tried. And can I just give a quick disclaimer? I haven't tried that many expensive mascaras. I usually go for cheap ones. And this is the most expensive one I've tried and it is the best. So maybe that's why. But I just like how it makes my lashes nice and long. I do find that sometimes they're a bit clumpy so it can make your eyelashes clumpy but I like the length that it gives because my previous mascara I had, which also was from Maybelline, was trash. I didn't like it. And I think it was like the volume mascara or something. It was like a pink bottle with a green lid or something. And yeah, I didn't like that. It was just, there was no volume at all, even though it was the volume mascara and there was no length. And then as soon as I tried this, I was converted straight away and I love it and it's lasting really long there's a lot of product in here so it is sometimes worth investing a little bit more money in products to get like you know a better product i just like it and if you haven't tried it go and try it and the final product for this video is a lipstick so this is from vive again another vive product and this is in the shade 90s so it's like a nudie brown shade. I know it is very used because I do use it every single day. But what I like about this lipstick is the fact that I just wear it every day. Like I said, it's an everyday shade. It's neutral and I'm the kind of person that likes kind of brownie neutral lip colours. I've always been that way. Yes, I know I'm wearing a pink shade today. Was that red? It's pinky red anyway. 
just I just wanted to do a little bit more on the lips because the rest of the makeup was so basic okay but every day to work and usually if I'm going out or anything or if I'm going somewhere or doing something this is my go-to lipstick because I know it's good I know I like the shade and I know it goes with every single eye look this is the thing about this it goes with everything so there I just love it blends nicely it's a great formula and again it's Jamie Genevieve's products and she's done a great job with her products you know they're not really cheap they're not um, you know crazy expensive but I would say they are more expensive than what I would usually pay but I still love them I still really love them and you can tell that the packaging is great quality and the product is great quality so that is everything for this video. For some reason, I have only been talking for about 13 minutes, but my voice is going. Like it's literally going. Like, uh. So I don't know what's happening, but anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. I will be filming one of these for skincare products and maybe like homeware things or clothing things. Just just because you know um but yeah if you did like the video give it a thumbs up also i have never said this before but if you would like to turn notifications on for my videos then please do it will notify you whenever i post a video and yeah i am only saying this because i'm subscribed to some people and their videos have stopped coming in my subscription box which means that i had to turn on the notifications for their videos and i didn't really realize that so you might not see my videos so if you want to make sure that you're getting notified when i upload then turn the notifications on and it will tell you straight away so yeah um and if you haven't subscribed please do so there we go but yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video which should be on wednesday maybe i don't know when i'm posting this but i might be posting this monday so if i post this monday see you on wednesday if i post this wednesday see you on friday okay.